Hi, my name's Shen. Uh, just a quick intro on myself. I'm uh, Irish, actually, as you can tell. Um, I uh, grew up in the UK, been in Singapore for about six years, and um, recently met this very, very cute Indian girl. I said, hey, what's your name? She said, Deepa. I said, hey, what's your name? <laughs> Thanks, I had no idea that would work, thanks for that. <laughs> so, is it just me, or does everybody receive emails about penis enlargements? <laughs> Seriously, I look at my spam, and every day there's like a dozen new ones. I mean, is this just me? Is there others out there? Yeah. 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 Do girls get it as well, is my question. Really? I thought maybe you had an equivalent. You know, maybe you were receiving emails that said, Hey, get a silky vagina in just three weeks. <laughs> No? Does it come through? You know, I got so mad about all these emails coming through, I actually replied to one, one time. I was like, STOP HARASSING ME, YOU FACELESS MONSTER! I got a reply. I couldn't believe it. It was like, hello, I'm Rachel from customer service. I'm sorry that your emails were upsetting you, but the thing is, six months ago your girlfriend set up an account for you, so... It was a sad moment, sad moment for me. So, that I don't like, but one thing you do need to know about me is that I'm coming out of the closet right now. I love trivia. Yeah, statistics turn me on, which is why I have things like this. The best book of useless information ever. Now, in this book, I found certain facts, and whenever you hear these facts, they're fascinating, but you must remember that a scientist somewhere did this research. Right? In the world, there are many, many illnesses which need to be cured. There's no cure for cancer. But no, somebody has taken the time to put in the research for this fact. For example, did you know cows can be led upstairs, but not downstairs? <laughs> and along with this study came a, a graph, actually, okay? So it's uh, basically cow's happiness in relation to its location, okay? <laughs> Going upstairs, quite happy actually. <laughs> Going downstairs, not happy at all. <laughs> but the happiness meter goes off the chart when it's in a field where it's supposed to fucking be! <laughs> but I'm from Ireland and I can tell you that cows should not be in the house regardless of story is the uh, truth behind that. I mean, sheep in the bedroom, sure, if you're from New Zealand, but whatever. <laughs> Right, another fact that I found in my book, did you know? Polar bears are left-handed. Someone did this study. And it also came with this graph, actually. Threats to polar bears. All right, I have a pie chart for you. Eskimos, partial threat. Global warming, partial threat. Right-handed scissors, major threat, obviously. <laughs> Arts and crafts is a fucking nightmare at the North Pole. <laughs> Alright, here's another fact from my book. A hippo's mouth is so large, it can fit a four foot tall child. <laughs> You'll be happy to know it comes with the graph as well. What we have here basically is a four foot child's happiness in relation to location. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> Playing a Nintendo Wii, even more happy. Inside a hippo's mouth, not happy at all. A negative score, in fact. I mean, seriously, that study, uh, that kid, I mean, that's a bad internship, for sure. Yeah? <laughs> so I enjoy trivia. One thing I do not really like at all is online abbreviations, because they make us all liars. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Were you? Were you really laughing out loud when you typed that? No. Liar! Even worse than that, R-O-F-L. Seriously? Has anything ever been funny enough for you to roll on the floor? Liars. So I've decided to come up with a few more honest abbreviations which I think you should incorporate into your everyday life. Instead of LOL, how about SWMA? 
smiling with mild amusement. <laughs> Common one, FML. Seriously, FML? Isn't that a bit drastic? Isn't that a bit excessive? Here's a bit of a tamer one we should be using. DWCD. Disappointed with the course of my day. <laughs> Another very common abbreviation we all use, OMG. Alright? Now I think in this religiously harmonious Singapore, we can't use OMG. We can. How about OMG DYC? Oh my god, or deity of your choice. <laughs> okay, just, there's a couple more. This is an actual abbreviation. I did a little research online. Can anybody tell me what this means? People use this. N-I-F-O-C. Does anybody know? Does anybody know? Naked in front of computer. <laughs> Really? Is that romance these days? I mean, you could, even worse than that would be naked in front of a computer and I type this without my hands. Uh, that would take some serious weight, actually. Yeah. And uh, finally, this is also an actual abbreviation used. TDTM. Anybody know that? Talk dirty to me. Use that online, seriously. But, I mean, maybe I'm a prude, but surely dirty talk loses some of its impact when you type it, right? I mean, you can't be like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to make you wet. Smiley face! <laughs> but, uh, honestly, uh, actually, recently in the bedroom, my, my girlfriend turned to me just as I was falling asleep and she said, Whisper dirty things to me. So I turned to her and I said, The dishes, the laundry, the. Uh, <laughs> Bathroom floor is pretty bad. She did have the last laugh though when she turned and said, "Penis enlarger, good night." <laughs>